Good day, everybody. It is Christy from OK Keto. So today's chawaffle is going to be a salmon patty chawaffle. And this is how I'm going to do it. I have a large egg I brought up to room temperature and I went ahead and whisked in this dish. We're going to use one can of pink salmon. It says it's skinless and boneless, tuna style in water, pink salmon. So one can of that. We're going to do two tablespoons or a half an ounce of crushed, I crushed them up really fine, pork skin. So you really want to crush them up really, really fine. Um, a half an ounce equals about two tablespoons. We're going to do 12 Parmesan crisp as our cheese for this chawaffle. So there's 12 of these that I took out and then I crushed those really fine as well in this bowl right here. We're going to do one tablespoon of mayo, one teaspoon of parsley. I'm using dried parsley but you could use fresh. One fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and just a little sprinkling of Old Bay seasoning. Sometimes I don't feel like Old Bay and I do one fourth teaspoon of oregano. So it's all what you're in the mood for. But today I'm gonna go with a little sprinkle of Old Bay to this as well. So let me plug in my dash and we'll get started. So again, here's my egg. It's been whisked. It's a room temperature egg. Let me switch it out and get my little spatula. So now to that, let's go ahead and add in our pink salmon. And now we're gonna add in our pork skin. And I'm just gonna stir this a little bit And then we will go ahead and add in our mayo. Again, that's one tablespoon. Our parsley, that was one teaspoon. And my garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon. Give this a good stir. And now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of Obey in mine. Again, when I don't feel like Obey, I add um, oregano. And I do one fourth teaspoon of oregano. If you don't like Obey, that's probably what I would go with. So now that I got that in there, I'm going to just stir this again. And now what I am going to do after I show you what this looks like, this is what it looks like. I am not going to mix in my Parmesan crisp into it. I'm going to take the Parmesan crisp and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the bottom of my preheated dash waffle maker. And then I'm going to pour or scoop out. Now this is going to be really thick. And I'm just going to fill my little grates. Again, it is going to be thick, and that's fine. That's what I want. And I'm going to just help it out with my little spatula. And then I'm going to take my Parmesan crisp and place more on the top. Because I kind of like a really nice crispy um, salmon patty. That's why I do this. And now I'm just going to close this. 
when it's to the consistency I like, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to set it on my cooling rack um, because if I take it out and put it directly on a plate, the common, the heat coming from it will cause condensation and it will get soggy and that is not what I want. So I always set mine on a cooling rack. Um, when I get two of them made, I will plate them up and come back and show you what they look like and tell you if I top them with anything. Sometimes I like to use like a guacamole for dipping or a sriracha mayo and drizzle it on the top or I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for today but you will see when I get two of them made and I come right back. So here it is plated up. I did pair it with some guacamole. I like to tear it apart and dip it in the guacamole. Sometimes I make like a sriracha in mayo and make a spicy mayo and drizzle it on top. But no, nah, today I'm going with the guacamole. So in just a minute, I will uh, take a bite of it for you and tell you how great it tastes. So here it is, plated up once again. And you see how the Parmesan whisk makes it really crispy on the outside? I don't know if you can hear that, but. So I'm just gonna tear it apart so you can see the inside. And this is how I like to eat it. I just scoop it, the guacamole, with it. And that's how I eat it. It's a really great lunch. Something different. And pretty darn healthy for you. So... Again, um, trying to see if you can hear that crispiness. That's what I really enjoy about this. That's why I use the Parmesan, cr the Parmesan crisp instead of just the regular grated Parmesan. Uh, I think it gives a, a little bit more crunch to it. But you can use any cheese you like. You know, a sharp cheddar would be great. Um, all up to your personal preference. This is just mine today. Um, Tomorrow, if I was to make it, who knows, I might switch out the cheese or, um, you know, the spices. That's what's great about these. They're to your own personal liking. And this is mine today. So, thank you for watching. This has been a uh, chihuahua for the um, hodgepodge Monday. Um, I'm actually getting ready to film another one for Wednesday. Um, so, if you're into to waffles. Um, come back Wednesday and you will see what I got in store for then. All right. Well, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.